Drinking water from nearly half of U.S. faucets likely contains forever chemicals that may cause cancer and other health problems, according to a government study released Wednesday. The synthetic compounds known collectively as PFAS are contaminating drinking water to varying extents in large cities and small towns and in private wells and public systems, the U.S. Geological Survey said. Researchers described the study as the first nationwide effort to test for PFAS and tap water from private sources in addition to regulated ones. It, uh, it builds on previous scientific findings that the chemicals are widespread, showing up in consumer products and diverse, uh, as diverse as nonstick pans, food packaging and water resistant clothing and making their way into water supplies. Because of USGS, because the USGS is a scientific research agency, the report makes no policy recommendations. But the information can be used to evaluate risk of exposure and inform decisions about whether or not you want to treat your drinking water, get it tested, or get more information from your state about the situation locally, said the lead author, Kelly Smalling, a research hydro hydrologist. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, hold up. My bad, I was reading, reading the text. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency in March proposed the first federal drinking water limits on six forms of PFAS or PER and uh, polyfluorinated substances, which remain in the human body for years and don't degrade in the environment. The final decision is expected later this year or in 2024. But the government hasn't prohibited companies using the chemicals from dumping them into public wastewater systems. And keep in mind too, uh, the the uh, the Supreme Court just made two moves against the Environmental Protection Agency's ability to do what it was created to do. One of them being um, allowing builders to build near uh, uh, water supplies like uh, river systems, uh, very near uh, the sources of, of uh, drinking water and fresh water supply. Um, and I don't remember the other one off the top of my head, but there were two moves that the Supreme Court ruled against the EPA very recently. We should be treating this problem where it begins instead of putting up a spotlight after the accident. We should be requiring polluters to treat their own waste. Indeed. But, you know, who cares about that? We got to make money. We got to make more money than we already make. And at the expense of your life, who cares? Studies uh, of lab animals have found potential links between PFAS chemicals and some cancers, including kidney and testicular, plus issues uh, such as high blood pressure and low birth weight. Federal and state programs typically measure exposure to pollutants such as PFAS at water treatment plants or groundwater wells that supply them, Smalling said. In contrast, the USGS report uh, was based on samples from TAPS in 716 locations, including 447 that rely on public supplies and 269 private wells. So the samples were taken between 2016 and 2021. Most TAPS were sampled just once, three were sampled multiple times over a three month period. And the results had little change. So it was pretty consistent in what they found in the experiments and the tests that the water is bad and you don't want to use it. Um, and, and, you know, you know, really what's really so frustrating and appalling about all of it is that so many of the nation's um, quickening issues and by that, I mean the problems that are just becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger every year. Like, oh, every year uh, the hurricanes are getting worse. It's getting hotter every year. All the levees don't work. All the infrastructure is broken. The pipes are busting. Everything's on fire. You know, so many of these things could have been addressed decades ago. And now um, in an attempt to save money, now everything costs even more money to address than it would have if we would have just addressed it on time and addressed it earlier before everything got so bad, you know? so. We wouldn't have had to take such drastic measures. We wouldn't have to uproot the whole uh, uh, water supply system, the plumbing system all over the country all at once. You know, we wouldn't have to do it all at the same time. 
or, or or else people will just be drinking poison. I mean, that's basically what we're dealing with, you know. Other otherwise, people will just be drinking, drinking with, and uh, drinking poison and showering poison. We could have addressed these things so long ago, and now it's even more expensive. It's it not even just more expensive; it's even more difficult to address. We need the, the engineering is even more difficult. Um, it, it's the minds we have to bring together, the planning, the the, the innovation. It's it, now it's even harder to address, and all for what? You know what I'm saying? For the all for what? We 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 need we don't have enough military bases around the world. We, you know, like come on. All right, so basically, the rest of it just kind of goes. Uh, so the heaviest exposures were in cities and near potential sources of the compounds, particularly in the eastern seaboard, Great Lakes and Great Plains, urban. So so like 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 three quarters of the country, basically. So so like three fourths of the whole country is, is impacted by this pretty much. Or at least half. <laughs> and 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 central and southern California as well. Forty-five percent of tap water samples nationwide, where they found these things. All right. Like I said, we had some uh, some some in some good stuff to go over today, and this is definitely important. I mean, this is the type of stuff you deal with, where it's like, why is why is everyone sick? Why is half the country sick? Yeah, I mean, but you know, but seriously, nature nature don't give a damn. Nature's scary. You know what I'm saying? Nature's scary. 